Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at the MX-16 uh, NVIDIA graphics card installer. Uh, the last review uh, I did of the beta, not the last review of the release candidate, but the last review of the beta, I asked that MX-16, uh, the folks over at MX-16, take a look at standardizing the Debian uh, the Debian NVIDIA graphics install and with this latest release candidate of MX-16 MX-16 has introduced uh, as part of the MX tools package uh, the NVIDIA graphics card installer so I have not tested it yet I'm going to uh, test it right now so we'll go into MX tools now MX-16, they differentiate themselves from many uh, Debian installers or Debian distributions by creating all of these proprietary uh, utilities. This is second to none. Uh, as you can see, you can do just about anything within this. If It makes it so easy to install and maintain and upgrade your system and with Debian that's not always easy to do if you look at the AMD ATI driver installer NVIDIA driver installer you can install codecs my Broadcom Wi-Fi uh, drivers worked during install and they worked on first boot so that is highly unusual now as you can see there's a Debian backports installer test repo package installer where you can install just about any package that you uh, can think of we'll take a look at that for a moment and as you can see it's quite comprehensive if I want to install Chromium browser or Google Chrome stable I can go ahead and do that so if I just check Chromium and click install it does all the work and there's, there's really uh, no uh, equal to that. Um, it, it's the value of that type of proprietary utility is immeasurable to someone who is moving from Windows. And so MX-16 has really raised the bar on that. So I'm going to go ahead, once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and use the NVIDIA graphics installer just to get my NVIDIA graphics card working on this particular machine. So now the install is done. I now, I now have Chromium available. So I'm going to exit that and I'm going to click on NVIDIA driver installer. So it opens a terminal and it asks for my password. Candidate is 367.44, and so I am going to press enter to continue. And it, it shows us the packages that are about to be installed. So I am now installing the NVIDIA graphics drivers from my particular system. Now it really doesn't get any easier than this. So now, once this finishes, I am going to have to reboot into this system. And hopefully it will give me instructions on doing that. But I'm going to reboot into the system, and I'll be right back with you uh, in order to see whether or not this actually worked. Okay, so the process is finished. Now it's telling me that the conflicting... Nouveau kernel module is loaded. That's my uh, default graphics and that would be the Intel graphics that are loaded uh, within my CPU. So it says the easiest way to fix this is to reboot the machine once the installation is finished. So I'm going to press enter for OK and it should only take a few seconds to finish up. Okay, and as you can see, it says finished, pressed enter to exit. 
I will press enter. And since it told me to reboot, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reboot, guys, and I'll be right back with you. And we'll see if this NVIDIA driver installer is as good as it looks. Be right back. Okay, welcome back, guys. Well, uh, I rebooted. No issues whatsoever. I'm back at my wallpaper, back at my desktop. Let's take a look if we have the NVIDIA settings program. And we do. Now, you, you can see the there's the NVIDIA driver installer, which is what I used to install the uh, graphics card. And now I have the NVIDIA server settings. And if I click on that, I have 367.44. And that is the easiest NVIDIA driver install I have ever experienced within a Debian distribution. That in itself sets MX-16 way above the rest of uh, Debian distributions. Uh, MX-16 has now raised the bar by a, a, an immense amount and really it's up to the other Debian uh, distributions now to try to catch up. MX-16 is that good. So guys, I just wanted to illustrate that uh, really monumental achievement uh, by the uh, MX-16 folks. They've really gone above and beyond. And uh, if you haven't tried MX-16 yet, you really need to give it a try. So guys, thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.